Welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do. Got a lot of news for you today, so buckle up. Here we go. Starting off uh, with Blockstream Technologies. Uh, Blockstream essentially is working on side chains that will run off the Bitcoin blockchain. And I wanted to show you guys this because I think this is fascinating. Uh, just the visual representation, I felt like for the first time, um, I just had an epiphany about side chains. Um, not just for the short term, but for the long term. You guys can see here on my screen that we have the core blockchain here is a representation of Bitcoin. And um, as you go through this, it starts explaining how a side chain would interact and how they're pegged together. Then um, it goes on to show you how there's uh, chains within the side chain. And then, um, of course, additional chains on that. Um, when I look at this, I get this idea of, wow, these are cogs in a machine, right? Is, is our future connected by these links and chains to the point of uh, full decentralization? Can everything in, in our world and in our lives be connected um, through these blockchains, um, through side chains, sub side chains, and things like that? I think it's really fascinating. Um, I discovered this while I was doing my research a little bit um, because uh, they have announced... Um, what they're calling liquid and it's in beta right now there's a good little demonstration that they did at consensus and things like that and I've been trying to understand this better and uh, essentially what's going to happen is this side chain is going to be able to execute transactions within seconds right Bitcoin right now can't do that it's bogged down it's heavy it takes way too long to send a transaction it's extremely frustrating I try to avoid using blockchain uh, Bitcoin in general, sorry, not blockchain. I, I avoid Bitcoin in general because it's so slow and because it's so frustrating. Um, a a sidechain potentially would fix that where all transactions, uh, payment transactions, things of that nature that need to happen extremely quick um, would happen on this sidechain and then it would all get uh, kind of bundle, bundled up in a way um, and sent to the main chain um, to, to live indefinitely, of course. So, um, this is this is something that's slated for early next year. Um, it's critical that Bitcoin um, start uh, looking at solutions um, for faster payment processing. It's gotten so bad that right now there's actually um, insurance now. Uh, Japan exchanges are rolling out insurance to help merchants. Uh, merchants are so concerned right now about the transaction times and things like that. They want to be um, covered if transactions don't go through as well uh, to prevent against fraud. I think it's a little fascinating that you can purchase insurance for something that's supposed to be immunable, that when the transaction is done, it's guaranteed, things like that. Uh, so it's a little bit fascinating that that's where we're at, but that's in the news as well. Also in the news, Japan has ended its 8% consumption on attacks on Bitcoin. And that was um, actually yesterday that I believe it finally ended. And so you, can, you guys can actually see uh, the market doing a little bit better today. Um, overall, and maybe that's just because uh, Japan has uh, stepped it up a little bit in the Bitcoin game. Of course, Japan's got uh, Monocoin over there, so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. That's kind of a joke, guys. It's kind of a joke. Don't don't take that seriously. I do. I, I think Monocoin is super fascinating, but uh, I'll talk on that on another video. Um, Nim, here we go. We're still on uh, Japan talk right now. Great news. Great news for NIM, uh, both in the short term and long term. Uh, they have started a new uh, YouTube channel called uh, Inside NIM. And if you're a NIM holder or you're interested in NIM, you need to go check it out because it's finally happening. This sleeping giant is awakening. We're finally getting uh, some uh, marketing going on um, uh, here in America um, and in Europe. Anywhere we speak English. Um, they're, they're stepping up their marketing and, and actually trying to communicate what it is NIM can do for you. Um, they're very transparent about what it's good at and what it's bad at. Um, even in their first video, they're comparing it straight up to Ethereum, and they're very honest about uh, what Ethereum can do that NIM can't, but they're very clear on what NIM can do and Ethereum can't, um, and it's really fascinating. NIM is definitely being developed um, for businesses. Businesses first, businesses in mind first. Um, so it's definitely something that if you're interested 
more on the business application of blockchains you must go check out you must learn more about NIM and inside NIM um, would be a great place for you to start right here on YouTube so when you're done with this video go check it out um, inside NIM all right EOS uh, we're gonna go to EOS ICO um, 20 percent of the total uh, amount has been sold uh, to date and it's about hundred and eighty million dollars that people have thrown into the garbage <laughs> and that's a little strong I know a lot of you believe in it but that makes the market cap at nine hundred million dollars uh, right now and um, nine hundred million guys this is almost a billion dollar idea that's it an idea there's no proof of work that's been done there's no true well thought out long-term roadmap with details um, it's blowing my mind now that being said again I do believe in the team that's doing this I believe um, in them very much I think it's a great team that's gonna be uh, making this happen but don't forget that not a line of code essentially has been written yet um, everyone has just poured millions and millions of dollars into it could this in a year be uh, a prime example of uh, I ICO history uh, it being absolutely outrageous people throwing their money away or will everyone who put their money in uh, hit the jackpot um, and this EOS be worth hundreds of billions I don't know I really don't know I'm not gonna predict um, what I do know is what they're trying to build is game-changing and awesome and the idea is definitely worth something the team is definitely worth something this is not worth nine hundred million dollars and that's the end of that story okay uh, moving on and uh, ant shares news good news for anyone uh, that's uh, owning ant shares um, essentially bittrex the only place you can buy it essentially um, in North America from my understanding uh, that exchange has lowered the fees so for taking it out it used to be one whole ant which is kinda ridiculous um, but now you can go ahead and move your ant shares out and, and uh, as I tell everyone on my channel if you own it make sure you get it in your wallet right away so you can earn those ant coins because that is that is uh, free money um, sitting there waiting for you so make sure you do that um, Moving on, uh, coming up soon, something to keep your eyes on is this event called Rise. Don't confuse it with the blockchain Rise, okay? Do not. You're going to start hearing about Rise a lot in the short term um, as we get closer to, to uh, July 11th, and don't get it confused. This is a conference. It's a very hot tech conference, uh, one of the top in the world, and... Um, Essentially, there's going to be a lot of uh, potential blockchain technology and information coming out of this conference. So it's something that you're going to, if you're, if you're, you know, you're probably into blockchain technology and cryptocurrency because you're probably pretty technical savvy. You're, you probably know what's up. Um, and uh, all of those people that are like you are going to be at this conference. Uh, the the leaders in the industries that are innovating and changing the world will be here so whether it's blockchain technology or some other kind that you're interested in um, you're gonna want to pay attention to rise um, and I just wanted to make sure you guys uh, know that this is coming up so make sure you head on over to riseconf.com so rise conference um, make sure you head over to riseconf.com and uh, check it out uh, check out the agenda and the speakers there's definitely something for everyone uh, if you're into this stuff uh, moving on uh, cryptopia has announced a swap a dot coin swap so there's this crazy kind of weird thing going on right now where uh, coins are basically being affected by attacks um, smaller coins and a lot of the really small altcoins and dot is one that is very small but a lot of people are somewhat familiar with it if you're familiar with cryptopia um, I earn DOT from referrals. A lot of people, unbelievable number of people have used my referral link um, to uh, buy cryptocurrencies and trade and exchange on this platform. And I, I get DOT, and it's not a lot, trust me. It's it's not a lot that I'm earning at all, but um, it's, it's a currency that they use to reward people, and there's other uses for it too. 
Uh, Cryptopia has one of the few places that's a pretty consistent uh, lottery, for example. There's actually a lottery you can use your dot coins on and things like that. Um, so there, a good amount of people know what dot coin is. Dot coin is moving over to waves. Um, they're going to be switching over to waves um, because there's just more safety there. There's more... Um, uh, there's more people essentially securing the network. And so it's a lot safer place for the smaller coins. I think you guys are going to see this. I've seen this trend just in the last few days of people switching over to waves and choosing waves. I think you're going to see a whole lot more of that as, as these attacks continue. People got to switch over um, for really just for security to, to be able to keep their blockchains safe. Um, uh, other news, awesome news actually, the alpha version of the Breeze wallet has been released. So this is alpha. So I'm not telling you guys, go download it right away. Let's sit back and wait. There could be some bugs, there could be security issues. Let's, let's just wait for it to get vetted out. But Stratus in the news with their new wallet, and this is really exciting. Proof of actual tangible results rolling out from Stratus. Stratus still has a lot of momentum. Its price has come down significantly in this pullback, and it may be a good entry point opportunity. Um, so go take a look at Stratus if you're not familiar with Stratus. They have a lot of uh, good things ahead. And uh, I just want to make sure you guys know that when, when these top blockchains actually produce what they say they're going to produce, you know about it because I think that's really important um, to know. And so last and maybe the most exciting is Pivx. Pivx has gone on quite a tear as far as, as, far as price goes the last few days, hitting... Uh, maybe an all-time high. I didn't look all the way back, but man, it is it is up there now um, in the $2 range. And essentially, they have successfully minted and sent coins via zero coin protocol, okay? Zero, zero knowledge proof uh, protocol. They're the first ones to do it, if I'm not mistaken, based on uh, all the research I did. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But my understanding is Pivx is the first one to do this. And this is huge. There's a lot of chains out there that have been rushing to do this type of stuff. Uh, we know that uh, Monero is working on it. We know that uh, Z Zcash um, is working really hard on it and have, has a huge team working on it. But here's little Pivx. Little tiny Pivx way down here um, around the 40th on the coin market cap uh, ranking list. And essentially just pretty much just killing it, making it happen. Um, Pivx is a fantastic um, alternative uh, cryptocurrency. Um, essentially, it is. Uh, it, it, it was built off of the Dash a little bit back in the day, so it's kind of like Dash as far as the core technology goes. But um, they've kind of uh, been focusing on being super, super fast, um, using SegWit. Uh, making sure uh, zero coin proof is a priority, and they've done that. They've proven that they can do it. And so private transactions, guys, this is super, super important. This isn't, we're not talking about drugs, all right? Yes, that's going to happen, and it's already happening and things like that. But you know what? There's more drug, <laughs> there's more drug money moving in U.S. dollars, hard cash, than there is in cryptocurrency. So everyone can just calm down about that, okay? But what's really happening, um, you know, and what's really going on in the world is that there's a lot of oppression about what people can do with and uh, with their money, and uh, their freedoms are being taken away. You know, there's a lot of people in the world who are finally starting to think differently. You know, there's there are countries who have hated each other for a long, long time, but you know what? Some individuals um, in those countries want to be friends, right? So let's like let's use like North and South Korea as a crazy example, right? Um, let's pretend that a couple people uh, near the border to each other somehow become friends um, and uh, one buddy wants to help his friend out. Well, there's no way in hell that he's actually going to be able to just hand him some money or like, you know, like crazy, crazy dangerous. The ideal would be is that he has the freedom to give his friend money and not have to worry about it. Um, and essentially, these cryptocurrencies are going to give those people that kind of opportunity. Um, at least that's the kind of thing that people want to believe in, is that, um, you know, there's, there's no reason for governments to tell us who and who we can't give our money to. 
and that's happening all over the world. It's probably not happening where you are, but it's happening all over the world, and it's something to, to be mindful of. Um, not only that, of course, you know, just cryptocurrencies in general, being able to send it to anyone in the world without anyone knowing, you know, maybe I want to do an anonymous donation to a cause I really believe in, um, and I just don't want anyone to know at all. Maybe it's because some people don't believe what I believe and I don't want the backlash. Maybe it's because I don't want to be seen as someone showing off that I gave all this money. There's a lot of different ways, right, um, as to why you might not want anyone to know you did a transaction. Um, and zero uh, knowledge proof is uh, the technology that ensures that that's how it works. You know, that ensures that no one's going to know. So anyhow, guys. Pivx in the news, killing it right now. And that's that's it for me, for the news today. I hope I brought you as a ton of information in a short amount of time. I'm trying to make these videos shorter for you and try to hit, the, hit a good mark and uh, bring you guys what's relevant. If you like this news, please subscribe. Amazing amount of subscribers um, coming on board. Appreciate every single one of you. Uh, leave a comment below. A thumbs up is a huge help, as always. Share this with a friend. Share this with anyone who you think would be interested. Share it on your favorite forum and things like that. Um, also, head over to Steemit. I'm on Steemit. Um, I have a lot of followers on Steemit now. It's awesome now. Uh, if you haven't checked out Steemit and you're into cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, go check it out. Uh, it's an actual blockchain platform in a, an entire social network built on a blockchain working proof of blockchain technology. If you have yet to interact with a blockchain, if you have yet to take that leap and try something, go try Steemit. Go check it out. There's a link below straight to my page. Make sure you sign up and things like that. It takes a few days to get signed up because they want to make sure that you're a real person and not a robot. So uh, make sure you sign up right away and come back and check it out soon. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I really appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're having a great day. I know I am, and I'll be talking with you soon. And as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you.